Okay, we're taking you back now to a brush fire that we're watching for you. Details limited here on what happened here on I-15 uh, in Layton, but you can see the smoke right here. Mm -hmm. The extreme heat, we're told, only adding to some of these fire concerns. Our Annika Johns is live on the scene there. Annika, you've been there for a little bit of time now. We saw smoke earlier. What are you seeing now? Well, Sarah, Brian, we just learned a little bit more about what took place here. I'm going to have Rebecca, my photographer here, show you a little bit more of what we're looking at. As you can see now, the flames at the moment are currently non-existent. But you can see if we look over to the right side of these train tracks over here, you can actually see firefighters fighting over there in the area. Now, we actually just learned that that is where this fire started. And then it kind of bounced over the train tracks we can see here into this left side of the highway or uh, excuse me, the left side of the railway here and that is where we can see a majority of that burn took place now we just learned that um, this was not a structure fire luckily but it did start over in this neighborhood and right now it's currently under investigation what took place we had a couple of power outages in the area along with some uta diversions that were being affected by the train tracks being so close here but like i just said we just spoke to one of the pios with Layton city or excuse me with Layton fire go ahead and take a listen to what he had to say the fire is still under investigation right now, but we do have what appears to be a grass fire that spread quite extensively and rather quickly given the temperatures and the extremes today. Um, and that's what we've kind of been managing for the last couple hours now. And they even told us that they'll still be here for a few more hours as that investigation continues. Like he said, there's been some extensive damage here in the area with those burn scars. As we can see, there are still firefighters out in the area battling out just these last few embers, making sure that this area does not relight as that would make the job for the firefighters obviously much harder. So we will, of course, be keeping you updated both on air and online at ABC4.com as we continue to learn more about what took place here. And of course, that cause of the fire reporting live from Layton, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.